12 engine with 510 horsepower, electronic active roll suspension, custom leather seats with six levels of massage, a voice command navigation system, and it all means nothing unless you have the right tires. For drivers who want to get the most out of their cars, it's Bridgestone or nothing. There are 380,000 NCAA student athletes. And most of us and most will, of us go, will pro. go pro in something, something other, than other than sports. sports. In something other than sports. Go to ncaastudent.org to find out how. NFL Mobile only from Sprint on the all-new Motorola Razor 2. Sharper than ever. Hello, Moto. Saturday night, Tom Brady and the undefeated Patriots put perfection on the line against the playoff hungry Giants. It's one for the record books. Patriots, Giants, Saturday night at 8, live on NFL Network. Log on to IWantNFLNetwork.com to find out how to get the only television network dedicated to the NFL 24-7, 365. IWantNFLNetwork.com. NFL Network, your home for football 24-7. That's how long Mike Mayock is actually in the studio, by the way, 24-7. <laughs> During draft time. So TCU set up by the 29-yard punt return by Bonner. Starts at the Houston 45. Dalton with a lot of time. Right, right tackle held. Yeah, he sure did. So this is coming back. This would have been down to the one yard line for Justin Watts. But the right tackle, Nick Richmond, couldn't hold his block and instead he held the blocker or the tackler. And it was a 44 yard play off the board. Yeah, that was an easy call right in front of the ref. Clearly a hold. And uncharacteristically for a Coach Patterson team. Offense, number 79. Ten yards, previous spot. Repeat the down. TCU has imploded in two series. They've got four penalties already. They average. And there it is right there. There's the hold by Richmond. That's on their rush linebacker, Brendan Pahulu. They, they only average six penalties a game. Four in the first two drives. Well, maybe they're just getting them out of the way around. There you go. There's an optimist. <laughs> That's why we call him Sonny. <laughs> Dalton to keep on first and 20. Nice block by Reagan, the tight end, to get him to three. Interesting play there. That's a quarterback run with the left tackle. Marshall Newhouse actually trapping, and he's going to read the trap block. Watch Newhouse. Here he comes. He pulls up into the hole. Nice block. Dalton makes the read, gets outside. They give you a little bit of everything. They give you option. They give you spread. They give you a little bit of eye formation. And they force you, Charles, to defend just about every kind of offense there is. Now it's second down and 16. And a screen to Christian. Good job of staying inbounds to the 42 and set up third and eight. Charles, that's really what that play's designed to do. Second and about 15, and we get half of it back, so you've got a makeable third down situation. Your coaches talk about that all the time, managing the game, staying, staying ahead of the chains, or if you're behind them, not too much. Because for TCU, Andy Dalton is a freshman All-American, but they don't want to put the game on his shoulders. They want it to be a manageable, makeable type down and distance. That's exactly what that screen did. Third down and six. And not much for Turner in that Houston defense, which doesn't get talked about very often. Really swarming to the ball. It's another fourth down. Ernest Miller, number five, the drop defensive end, formerly a strong safety, still plays that way, filled the hole well. 
Turner, the running back, still down as he had a good look at Miller. And Turner got an awfully good look at Miller. And underneath that, there's, there's a from the back peak at Joseph Turner from Austin, Texas. They have been snake bit at that position. Well, they're going to uh, take some time and look at Turner. Nothing, nothing under five minutes remaining in the first quarter in Houston. I mean, sure, I help people save money on car insurance, but few folks know that I support wildlife conservation, too. You're going to eat all those. Well, you are, aren't you? You're just going to go to town. All right, well, I'll make this quick. I'm teaming up with the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. I'm going to be making the rounds to get the word out. Are those clams? I love clams. Do you uh, want to offer me any? Uh, apparently not. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The Inside Bowl on NFL Network. The electric Cowboys offense looks to heat up the desert when they square off with the Hoosiers. The Inside Bowl, Monday at 6 on NFL Network. Steve O'Dell is a real Geico customer, not a paid celebrity. So to help tell his story, we hired a celebrity. Recently, my father was carjacked at knife point. Oh, honey, that's all right. This face has seen more knives than a Benihana. Geico handled the whole thing with unbelievable sensitivity. Sensitivity? I can't feel my face. I was so impressed, I switched to Geico and saved over $600. I was very happy. Geico. Real service, real savings. Am I smiling? I can't tell, Steve. I can't. Introducing the revolutionary Kuro. NFL Network presents Saturday Night Football. And it's your place to see New England in prime time. The Patriots invade the Big Apple to close out the regular season with the Giants in an interconference battle. The run to the playoffs is on. NFL Network, your home for football 24-7, all year long. Saturday Night Football, Patriots, Giants. Welcome back to the Texas Bowl, presented by Radio Shack. Mike, why did they run that option on third and six? Well, it's third and six, I think, for two reasons. Number one, they're trying to take a lot of the management of the game out of Andy Dalton's hands, as far as making decisions down the field vertically early. And number two, they're hoping to get him in man coverage. And if they get those guys running away from the line of scrimmage, maybe they can gash one. So Wash is going to punt it away. McDaniel is deep. The last one went in the end zone for a touchback. This one's high enough. Find it. They couldn't find it. Wow. Oh, they had a man down they there, Curtis it. Clay, number seven. The block by the player from Houston made that play and let it go in the end zone. If he doesn't block it, he's down there to catch it and down it inside the two. Cougars at the 20 when we come back. Isn't there a faster way you can do this? No. Doing things faster means waiting less. And with Sprint, you'll wait less to make calls with unlimited calling starting at 7 p.m. instead of 9. For more ways to wait less, go to waitless.org. Now get the Motorazor V3M for only $49.99 from Sprint. What'd you get? The jalapeno cheddar double melt from Wendy's. It's got jalapenos, bacon, and two kinds of cheese melted between two hot, juicy burgers. Oh, yeah? This air supply burger is pretty outstanding. Making love out of nothing at all. Making Dressing up a boring burger is just wrong. Nothing. Enjoying the flavor explosion of the jalapeno cheddar double melt from Wendy's? That's right. Order a medium or large combo and get a free download of the music you really want from Rhapsody.
OnePlus tools work at full power twice as long with a battery that fits all your other OnePlus tools. Ryobi OnePlus. Pro features, affordable prices. You'll find them only at the Home Depot. Where it begins. Break down the game before the game. Join Rich, Mooch, Marshall, and Dion before Saturday Night Football. Total Access on Location. Presented by Sears. Only on NFL Network. Hi, I'm Bill Belichick, and you're watching the NFL Network. Well, the question football fans everywhere are, is, are asking, will the Patriots be perfect? And tomorrow night, NFL Network presents the Patriots and the Giants in a season-ending matchup. Patriots-Giants live on NFL Network tomorrow night at 8 Eastern. I don't know if they're going to be perfect, but they're going to play their guys. Well, they there are. no resting people, I'll guarantee that. But I also hear the Giants are a little tired about hearing about the Patriots. It could be interesting. The Cougars again after a touchback. Keenum's still got it. And now the Cougars have a first down, and that's Avery. We'll go down to Kimberly Jones on the sideline. Thank you, Brad. I went looking for a Houston scouting report, and I talked to Kevin Cobb, the rookie quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles, who, of course, led these Cougars last season. He told me about Anthony Aldridge. He reminds him of Brian Westbrook, his ability to slash and cut back. Gary Patterson's got to be very happy with the way his defense is swarming to Aldridge at this point. Of Donnie Avery, he said no one's better when the ball's in the air. Just throw it, and he'll go get it. And as for Case Keenan, his successor, he said you know he's a coach's son. He's smart, great instincts and he always makes the big play. Kim, thank you. Sounds like a scouting report from a quarterback. Nice cut, yeah, wasn't it? Great ball fake there by Keenum. That's a pretty thorough scouting report Kim got, wasn't it? No kidding. I mean, she, got, she got the whole thing and detailed and I love it. Well, love she, the work. She was smart enough to go talk to a quarterback. Went, went right to the guy. Remember, Kevin Cobb wasn't just last year. A four-year starter took every snap of almost 48 for Houston consecutive for four. starts. How about that? Yeah. I mean, you talk about durability, toughness, as well as terrific play. I thought it was an interesting comparison, Allridge to Westbrook. Now, they're different body types. Westbrook's put together a little bit bigger, but 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 I think the point is the same. Return kicks, scat back, catch the ball, good point. Second and four, Allridge will get one. Tommy Blake. 97 at the bottom of the stack. I think TCU's front four is doing a great job controlling the run game so far. And the thing you've got to do against an offense that goes laterally, a sideways offense, you've got to press the line of scrimmage. Because when you start running laterally, you create gashes and seams, and that's when a guy like Orange can beat you. So you've got to be disciplined, and your linebackers have to press the line of scrimmage. Orange five carries, five yards. This is third down and three. So far, this has been option or a choice route to the number two receiver in the slot. Option. Whoops. That one got away from Allridge. A loss back to the 35. And we'll see Chase Turner, the Houston punter. Guys, it appeared to me that the ratio, that the gap between quarterback and pitch man, was off that distance bit, was right? off. Yeah, I agree. Right? Did yep. you think so? Yeah. I, thought I thought that Aldridge behind. had not run the curve exactly. fast enough to be where they thought he would be. So when the pitch came, he was probably a step behind where he normally was on, the, where he normally would be on that play. And I like the chunky kickers we have in this game. <laughs> <laughs> How many times hey. do you see chunks like that? Hey, it's like pitchers, right? You don't <laughs> run the ball down. Here. Look at yeah. this. This is why he's chunky. He's got all of that to put into it, and, and he's going to get a touchback, and that's a shame. He deserved better. The ball went 65 yards, but TCU will have it at the 20. Let's hear it for chunky kickers. <laughs> Applause at the 20 when we come back. Hey, Coach, do you know that Coors Light tastes as cold as the Rockies? You must think I'm dumb. No, Coach, I, Coach no, it's it's just that some people don't know the Rockies are cold. Uh, would, would they be someone that you would think would know anything? No. Hey, Coach, you ever consider changing your nickname from Big Tuna to Big Coors Light? This conversation's going nowhere, okay? Okay. Ross Brewed Coors Light, official beer sponsor of the NFL. Coach, our girlfriends think we talk too much about football and Coors Light. But that's a good thing, not a bad thing. Preach into the choir. Hey guys, they were out of Snickers. No! But um, I got these Snickers dark bars with dark chocolate instead. Yay! Stay 
Stay tight in the pocket. Be on time. Is he blitzing? Three seconds until sack. Work your eyes to the left. Stare down that safety. Off the mic. What's the corner doing? Little FC or left? Two seconds until this. sack. We need this one. Looking for Harrison. Harrison's completely covered. One second until sack. Who's breaking through? Who's breaking hot? Who's more hot? Clark. As soon as man thinks it, then you see it. Watch exclusive coverage of live game moments with NFL Mobile. This is the NFL at Sprint Speed. Welcome back to the Texas Bowl presented by Radio Shack Houston by Twilight. Beautiful skyline in Texas most populous city. And speaking of populations there was an overpopulation of the TCU huddle. We'll see about <laughs> seeing that in a minute. Frogs their worst starting field position. Dalton. It just got worse. You got to throw that ball don't you at some point. Brandon Brinkley took away the screen, right, Charles? He, did. He, he jumped on it, and he's the guy that's almost populated. Like, almost like he knew what play was coming. <laughs> he's the guy. Watch 21 right here. Number, number 21. See, he takes he, away the screen, and Andy Dalton has nowhere else to go and sets things up for Ernest Miller, number five. The drop defensive end is playing very well thus far. He had nothing after the screen. And he was still in the pocket. So he couldn't just sail it out of bounds. Exactly. It's second and 24. Great route. Yeah, it sure was. And Dalton was able to find Walter Bryant, junior from San Angelo. I love the route because it was a one receiver route to that side. It looked like he was running a vertical. He got the defender's hips turned and then they threw the comeback. It was really well done. He's also well blocked up front to give Dalton enough time on the play fake to be able to throw because it's a longer route with the breaking that you have to do. And that drives a defensive coordinator crazy. You make a great play on defense, you force loss of yardage, and they come back and get a big chunk on the next play. Third and two for Dalton. Blitz. Oh. I'm not sure he could have thrown it much better on first blush. Jimmy Young, the intended receiver. The blitz adjustment. He, he knew he had one-on-one -on, -one on the edge, and Charles, I'm with you. There's the blitzer, the unblocked blitzer. There's the ball to the outside shoulder. I don't think Go he adjusted it. correctly. He, did, he, did, he kept it. running toward the sideline instead of adjusting to the football. See, at that point, he has to bend back one step to the, to the, to the middle of the field, and he makes the catch. It was a perfectly thrown ball by Dalton. Jimmy Young didn't make the adjustment. And that's, that's a mark of a young receiver. Redshirt freshman, he'll, he'll improve that as time goes on. So Derek Wash will punt it away to McDaniel. This is the hang time he wanted on the other two punts. And McDaniel with a fair catch at the 35-yard line. So the uh, TCU defense now, after a 37-yard punt, the TCU defense has to come out and face all this explosion. And yeah, we really expected, obviously, for Houston to try and get vertical, but so far it's been Case Keenan's legs scrambling their only offense. He's taken an awful lot of shots. The TCU front four has dominated the game. Big hit there. Throws the ball away, gets a penalty. And then, as Charles identified, the ratio was wrong between the quarterback and the pitch man, and it's a fumble out of bounds. Houston has turned the ball over on downs once and punted twice. And here's Allridge. Mm. Boy, he is a popular fella. He is drawn a crowd. Mike, you identified how TCU is playing well versus the run in this game. One of the reasons I think they're playing so well is their philosophy of rotating defensive linemen. Gary Patterson has the philosophy, hey, no more than 45 snaps or so for my guys. I want them healthy. I want them fresh in the fourth quarter to go after the passer. Ortiz or, and Blake. Neither one of them's on the field at this point. Well, they play eight, nine guys. And remember, now it's second and 12. We're going to get that odd front, odd front zone blitz package. Three men down. Now they're dropping out. They're going to play coverage here. Eight dropping. Kana. <laughs> that was Ortiz giving. There it oh, is. Oh, he's got a man. This year's Texas Bowl. We've talked from the very beginning about the athleticism of the quarterback. That time they choose to play coverage. Rush three, drop eight. 
What did he do? Charles, he bought time. Nothing to watch him move around in the pocket. I love the patience, the lack of panic. Okay, I can run away from that defensive end. Come back the other way. You've got a corner that loses leverage. And you can see right there, number 20, Nick Sanders. He's got deep outside. And in the, in the situation with the scramble, he lets somebody get behind him. Lawrence adds the extra point to make it 7-0. And, Mike, we talked earlier about the fact that the first couple of possessions, when you watch Keenum, his feet are so calm. And what you just said, a great example of that. The lack of panic is what I like in a young player right there. He knows they're only, his pre-snap read told him there are only three guys coming, Charles, and he took advantage of it. And I had said that Ortiz was out of the game. He was in the game. Yep. So when he reversed field the first time and came back the opposite way and, and bypassed the defensive end, that wasn't just any defensive end. That was Chase Ortiz that he moved away from. And then Khan got, got, up, got free downfield because of the reverse of field by Keenum in the pocket. They lost sight of the receivers, and he snuck in behind them. And, Charles, here's a good look at it. As a defensive back, which you and I see, both were, look at 20 see, right you there. See where his Sanders. eyes are? Look where, where it is. Eyes. In the backfield. Wrong he's spot. Got you. Man. Now, the thing about Andre Khan, he's a, enlisted as a, a running back, and that's what he plays for Houston. But he came to Houston as a... Wide, wide receiver. Yeah, yep. So he has those types of skills to get downfield. The case Keenum, wow. I understand now why his teammates have nicknamed him Sweet Beat. All right, there's a reason. He has earned that moniker. He's got a couple nicknames. Donnie Avery called him a white Michael Vick. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, I think he'd rather go with Sweet, sweet Beat. Yeah. 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 Okay. Lawrence kicking it away. And this is Marcus Brock. Just could not get through the wedge, but he got it out to the 25 as we have only two seconds remaining in the first quarter. 65 yards in two plays in 57 seconds for the Houston Cougars. And, and Charles, the point I wanted to make, you and I were both D-backs. And when you're playing zone like that, what's the first rule? Deeper than the deepest. Deeper than deepest receiver. And, and he was so close to two receivers. And then what Houston did a great job with is what they call their scramble rules. You've got specific rules when a quarterback scrambles to your side of the field. One guy breaks to the sideline, another guy goes deep. That defensive back has got to be deep within the deep. Christian, the running back, as the first quarter comes to an end. Easy, boys, easy. It's a bowl game. Easy, <laughs> easy. Everyone gets gifts. Still, still the holidays. <laughs> 7-0 Houston, and we will be back to the Texas Bowl, brought to you by Radio Shack. Welcome to NFL game day. This is a bad boy. This is just good football weather. We're not finished yet. NFL game day, Sunday night at 1130 on NFL Network. Well, the New England Patriots go for a perfect season live on NFL Network. What started as a dream is now on the threshold of reality. A genius coach, the golden boy quarterback, poised to lay claim as the greatest football team ever. Yeah, pretty much. Man, I hope the Giants win. If you're already a dynasty, what comes after that? The perfect season is on the line. Patriots-Giants, Saturday at 8 on NFL Network. Stretch Farla. <laughs> 60 stretch Farla. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go. 60 stretch Farla. <laughs> I won, ready? <laughs> hey, you need this. I'll take those. Wake up, people! New Diet Pepsi Max with ginseng and more caffeine. This is no reality show. This isn't acting. This is the absolute genuine article. This is gonna change the way fans see the game. This is business. This is pleasure. This is Braylon. This is Bratwurst. And Bryant, this is what the Colts do best. This is focused. This is flawless. This is football. to the Texas Bowl presented by Radio Shack. Reliance Stadium in Houston, Brad Sham, Charles Davis, Mike Mayock, Kimberly Jones, 7-0 Houston. And 
Dalton for TCU with an open tight end. Easy to Shea Reagan from Idaloo up in the Texas Panhandle. Brought down by the All-Conference USA safety, Kenneth Fontenet. And that's just a good, smart first down play there. Again, zone. They had Bart Johnson running the outside right route. Reagan on the inside. He sat down between the two linebackers, and it was read correctly by Dalton. And that's what he does. About 80% of his catches go for first downs. High formation for the first time for TCU. Double move, stutter go. Flag. Triple move. <laughs> stutter go. Flag. Stutter go flag. Mark Triple move. Marcus Brock was the intended receiver, and Brinkley was the man who was flagged. Brinkley's not as good when he doesn't know the play ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> but he, oh, he can't get the huddle. Appearance. Defense, number 21. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Maybe it's this end of the field that draws the penalty. Maybe that's what it is. Good move. There's the stutter go. Brinkley just reaches out and grabs him. There couldn't be any more obvious than that one. Come go back here. Go back to the touchdown pass. One of the things we said was the defensive back, Nick Sanders, looked back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there to Brinkley. When he came up and drove on the stutter step, he took his eyes back into the backfield instead of to the receiver. And then when he made the move past him, all he could do was grab him. First and ten. Nice little belly play for Justin Watts, who has replaced the shaken up Joseph Turner at running back. And we mentioned the fact that TCU has had some injury problems at tailback, going back to losing Aaron Brown before the year. And now we are told that Turner has a knee injury and he won't play anymore tonight. What is it about the tailback position for TCU, guys? They've had it tough all year long. Aaron Brown is a preseason Mountain West Conference Offensive Player of the Year. He stayed dinged all year. Now Christian, oh, what a move in the open field. And such a good move, it's Dalton who's got the ball. That's why it was such a good move. <laughs> Take out the play-by-play -play guy. That's a great job by Dalton that time. And remember, this is the read. This was when Turner was injured earlier. That's, boy, what a shame. It is a shame. Guys coming off of 226 yards and four touchdowns on the ground against San Diego State in his last ball game. It, uh, it hadn't been the same since LaDainian Tomlinson left. Just a, it's a read. Remember, it's the option. There's no pitch, man, but it's still an option. He reads the defender, come break down on the ball back, and he goes outside. Now Dalton's still got it again. There's a terrific open field tackle at the 25-yard line by Rocky Schwartz.